Professor Ellen Anders, recruited by the Office of Naval Intelligence in 2531, is regarded as one of the UNSC's most critical assets during the war with the Covenant. Born on Arcadia in 2504, even at a young age, Anders was driven to pursue science, archaeology, and eventually the theoretical study of alien civilizations. She quickly ascended through her education, ultimately receiving a doctorate and becoming an associate professor and lecturer at a local university. Despite Anders' vehement claims otherwise, many comparisons have been made between her and her senior, the esteemed yet controversial Dr. Catherine Halsey. While Halsey was considered the premier authority in genetics and artificial intelligence of her time, the young Anders was at the center of any theoretical discussions on xenobiology. Though adversaries within the scientific community, Halsey would recommend Anders to Oni's research division in 2531, an act which would change the course of her life forever. As the Covenant unleashed hell on the outer colonies, a significant contingent remained behind at harvest. They had found something below the planet's surface, a massive complex of ancient machinery. Assigned to the local support ship, the UNSC Spirit of Fire, Anders' curiosity brought her to the planet's surface and the artifact. When the Covenant retreated, both she and Sergeant John Forge activated the machine at the complex's center, revealing a holographic interstellar map, a map which pointed to her birth world, Arcadia. When the Spirit of Fire arrived at Arcadia, they found it under attack, eventually leading the UNSC forces to the planet's unexplored regions and yet another Forerunner artifact. It was there on the ground that the UNSC has their last public record of her. Investigating the Covenant's interest in the planet, Anders was abducted by an elite commander known as the Arbiter. As the Covenant sped away with their prize, the Spirit of Fire gave chase. This would be the last time Anders or the crew of the Spirit of Fire would be seen. And to this day, status and location remains unknown. Though rumors of the Spirit's fate abound, on February 10th, 2534, the UNSC finally declared the ship and its crew lost with all hands.